Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to bring you a video on something that um, I actually watched a video on the other day and the person who did the video is, she's got a channel and her channel is called The Treasure Box and she's just adorable. I love to listen to her talk, very calming and she has an accent and it just she's just a lovely lovely person and so um, anyway I watched and this was a video that I watched all the way through I didn't fast forward through any of it um, because I enjoyed it that much so um, I'm gonna go ahead and try I haven't done this yet so this is you and me are learning together you guys I'm gonna try what she did um, today and again, her channel is called The Treasure Box, and I will put a link to her channel down below. And um, these are some of the things. You need a couple of uh, paint brushes. I've got some glue here, which is just the white glue. And I've added, it's two-thirds glue and one-third water. So I've got that ready to go. And the other thing that I need is I need something that is plasticky to put underneath this. So what I'm going to do, this is uh, a cereal bag. So this is what I'm going to use to do this procedure on. And so I just took the bag out of the cereal box and um, it was a box that was ready to go in the trash. So I um, tore it down the middle and here we have our plastic. And this is so that these do not stick. So what we're going to be doing <clears throat> is we're going to be creating some of these. Um, this top one is one that's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to put it aside for a moment. Um, I'm taking, these are tea bags. And these are just your regular old run-of-the-mill tea bags. These are from Lipton. Well, actually a couple of them were like Sleepy Time Tea or... Lipton and different ones that I had laying around that I knew I wasn't going to use and I just made a whole bunch of them and um, Decided to try this process. So What we're going to do is um, These tea bags are transparent so what we're creating is something transparent because also these napkins are somewhat transparent and we'll be creating some really vintage -y looking um, images that we can use on our projects. So, um, again, the glue is, I just used this Jot glue, and it's two-thirds glue, one-third water. I mixed it up in a little container here. And um, we're just going to go ahead and get started on this. Oh, let me read my quote for the day. I decided to get one for the new year. I'm trying to encourage myself to do better this year and to do more this year. Um, we'll see how that goes. We all know that we start out with good intentions, right? <laughs> so anyway, it's a note to self and it says, Dear Self, this is going to be your year. So dust yourself off and get started. Love me. Let's all of us tell ourselves that. This is going to be our year, you guys. We're going to just do great and incredible things this year. Um, I'm going to try really, really hard to, um, to, to do more and do better. That's kind of my goal. Um, I am working now, so it's going to be a little bit harder, but I'm going to try and push myself to really, really get creative this year. And, you know, I, I'm never going to make this my thing unless I really get in there and 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 figure out how this whole thing works and and um, make myself successful so that's what I'm gonna work at and you guys um, before we get started too I just want to ask you all if you're not currently subscribed to my channel I would so appreciate it if you did subscribe I'm working on doing a lot of videos lately and I'm trying to get a couple of videos out a week um, on different projects that I'm finding um, that I want to try and we can learn together and uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like it 
and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this one because I thought it was really cool when I watched it on the treasure box. And so I just, I had to bring it to you guys. I watched the video last night and decided I had to do a video today. So um, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to dip my brush into my glue. And I'm going to start in this corner here and I'm just going to paint my glue on so that it's going to be enough to cover this um, tea bag and these images that I'm going to be putting on here. So I'm just going to do a good job of getting a nice bit of glue on here. And for me, since this is my first time, I got to make sure that I do this right and get plenty. I think I got it across the whole thing there. And the first one that I'm going to do is this butterfly, and I'm just going to lay that down on the paper, and I'm going to paint glue over the top of it a little bit, just to make sure it's down. And I'm going to use this little flower pot. And there we go. And be gentle with your napkin because the napkins we know do tear. And then now I'm just going to place this tea bag right over the top of that. And we're going to paint glue over the top of this tea bag. And one of the things that she did, I'm going to show you in just a minute, I thought was really ingenious because it really adds to the vintageness. Now these tea bags. Um, you don't have to be quite as careful with them because they don't tear. They've got stuff in them. They're not biodegradable. They've actually, uh, she explained on her video, they've actually got plastics in them. So, uh, so yeah, so they don't fall apart like the napkins do. You can use tissue paper, you know, for gift wrapping. Um, if you've got some pretty tissue paper that has nice images on it. And so... Pick anything you want, but I decided to use some of my napkins that I had laying around that I wanted to vintage up. So the other thing that she does, and you can see there's little specks of tea on this tea bag. That's okay too. That just adds to the vintage look of this. And you can leave those right there. But then the other thing that she does is she takes these corners and she says this makes it actually easier to pull it up when you're done. So that's the other advantage to um, crinkling up these corners. So I'm just going to go around the entire tea bag and just crinkle the edges and kind of make it look vintagey and and scraggly on the corners. And you don't have to be super careful about this. You just want to. I think I'm going to take this brush here and do my pushing because this brush is a little bit stiffer and I think it will roll those edges a little bit better so that's why I got this one out actually and then I decided to go ahead and try the the one I was using to paint the um, the glue on with so you can see I'm getting like a nice little edge you can make it you know not so straight just like that Hopefully you guys can see this well. I tried to put it on white, uh, over a white paper towel so that you could kind of see what I was doing here a little bit better. So there we go. There's our first, there's our first one. And then you've got to let these dry. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to paint a few of these on here. And the next one that I'm going to do is this pretty little bird here and what I need to do is I do need to tear this napkin because I do want the napkin to stay inside of the edges of the tea bag so you can see there it it this way the bird makes it inside the tea bag so again we're gonna paint our plastic and I'm gonna try and paint these close together because I actually want to do several of these and I want it to come out nice but I want to get 
several of them done. So there's the little bird. And really you don't even have to paint over the top of this napkin. I just am doing it because I want to get the edges down real well. And then we're going to lay our tea bag over the bird. You can see I wrote treasure box right here on my paper towel so I wouldn't forget the name of her channel. I knew it was treasure something but I did have to look it up again this morning and I've watched several of her videos in the past. And I, like I said, I just love watching her videos because she's so calming and super um, friendly and just a really, you can tell she's just a really nice person. And I enjoy watching videos from people who give me a good vibe. So, and she definitely, definitely puts out a good vibe. Trying to remember her name. I can't remember what her name is. And I know she says it um, at the beginning of her videos, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But she's just a awesome person and I think you guys will really enjoy her channel. She does a lot of journals. She uses these for um, journal books and things. Um, that's kind of her forte. She does journals and um, I'm wanting to do more journals and things so I'm wanting to kind of learn the process. Journal books though are a lot of work. They are a lot of work. Um, it can take you quite some time to make them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link to her video where she made these. And um, you can see because in that video she also makes a journal. But she makes a just a quick and dirty journal that she did very quickly. I'm certain that I could not do it as quickly as she did. Um... But I think I could come close because she made it so simple. The whole process to making it was just a small, um, it could have been a signature or just a small journal. And so that's what she did and it was very, very pretty. Really pretty and she just came up with some, I'm adding some wrinkles in here into this part because I kind of like that. <laughs> So I want to see what it's going to look like with a few extra wrinkles in it. I thought that would be fun. So we're going to just go for it. All right. So I've added some wrinkles in here and there, up in here and in here, just to see, you know, because it just adds to the whole vintage effect. Okay. And the next one I'm going to do, I love this. I had a napkin that had this writing on it. And so I thought, how pretty would that be to do one with writing going across it? The only thing is I have to kind of tear this napkin up a little bit more to make it fit underneath the tea bag. And I like my napkins to be torn and not cut. So I do tear my napkins. I do not cut them with scissors. I'm just going to put that aside. I'm going to save these words and use them in other stuff. So I just want to make sure I have it on the right side. And it fits under the napkin. I could have actually probably fit a little bit more under there. But that's okay. We'll just go with what we have here. So, this one's going next. And you can see on this plastic, the... Uh, the glue wants to kind of separate because the plastic, of course, that's why we use the plastic because this will come up from it easily when the time comes to peel these off of this paper. So, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to let these dry 
and then we will pull them off. So, but what an easy project process, and it's just something you can do, you know, just kind of sitting around. Um, I suppose you could even do it in the living room watching TV. Oh, and my husband just brought in something he just made that I want to show you guys. He's making these, and oh my goodness, they are beautiful. Look at this. I'm going to back you off just a little bit so you guys can see this. He's made a few of them now. Look at this cross. It's a um, wooden cross. It's got a like an eye hole in the back, or keyhole, I'm sorry, keyhole in the back to hang it with. And it kind of, you can see this piece on the back here, takes it away from the wall. So it gives it a more of a 3D effect. But isn't that gorgeous? He's doing the American flags and he burns the wood and then he stains it with the red and the blue. And then his CNC machine carves in all these beautiful stars that you see here. So yeah, he's made uh, three of them now, I think. And I am in love with these crosses. So anyway, we will be having these in our, in our Etsy shop, you guys. So make sure you get on over there and check that out because they're going to be for sale. Um, I know this is this kind of stuff has been really popular lately. Um, so we've been able to, you know, anything with the American flag on it or things like that um, have been doing really, really well in our shop. So um, he's trying to come up with some more patriotic stuff to add. But those crosses are amazing. I just love them. And I think they're going to do really, really well. I think he would have liked to have gotten them in before the holidays, you know. But it was something that he came up with um, over the last week or so to start making. So he didn't have that one in his, in his brain until... It was too late for the holidays. <laughs> well, he had them in his brain. I, I'll take that back. He had been talking about doing them and um, happened to be watching some uh, YouTube videos and saw a guy doing them. And here I'm going to add some wrinkles into the center of this again because I really think I'm going to like that look. Um, but anyway, he found a video where a guy made them and um, he just, he got the, he got the bug. So he decided he had to make some American flag crosses. Okay, there's that one. And next, let's see, let's see. I've got a couple more of them here. This, obviously, is my favorite napkin that I like to use in a lot of things, and I decided I wanted to try and do one with this. And again, I have to um, tear my napkin a little bit to get it to the right size. Get it in the right spot here. And then I'm just going to kind of Tear it down. It's hard for me to tear this napkin like this, but <laughs> it's got to fit. And I think that's going to do it. I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who um, shopped in my Etsy store during the holidays. I had a lot of really um, great, did a lot of great business um, during the holidays. And I appreciate all of you so much for going over and even just checking out my store. I know that, you know, everything I do is not for everyone can't expect that it will be um, but we the good thing about it was not only did I have my stuff that I had been doing 
but Jeff had his things um, and so we had things for the guys and the girls in the shop and so that worked really well well for us um, to um, do some really great business and so thank you you guys and you all know who you are um, I couldn't appreciate you more. I will be working on um, figuring out what my January giveaway is going to be. Um, I haven't determined that yet, but I'm working on it. Um, so I will let you guys know soon what that's going to be. Let's get our other brush here. I'm just going to put a little glue on that so it's easier to push these corners in. And you can really do this relatively quickly, you guys, just pushing these edges in. Sorry about the noise. The trash men are here picking up the trash. And they're quite noisy. It seems like I always do videos when the trash trucks are coming. And so you can see these tea bags, they're all different, you know, some of them, some of them um, get really dark, some of them don't, they're all kind of different shades. I'm working on a, a batch of them right now that I'm actually leaving in the tea a little bit longer because I want a batch that's really good and stained. So I'm working on that now, and while I was doing that, I stained this piece of lace. Isn't that pretty? And then I also sprayed it with some uh, alcohol inks in a couple of different colors, so I'm waiting on that to dry. So today I've been kind of working on a few different things. And here again, more along these edges, I'm going to add a few wrinkles. And you guys are going to love how these come out. And the texture that these come out to when they're done is amazing. It's awesome. And then the last one I'm going to do, I have this napkin here. And I just need to decide which part of it I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this part because it's got the, the tower in it. And so I want to use that and then I can I can do this other half of the napkin in another one which is going to be the roses so let's go ahead and I think I can paint this one right over here maybe not I don't know if I want a chance I think I'm going to go back down in this corner here about to run out of glue But you guys can see, really, this process is amazingly easy. The last one I'm going to do is a little different. It's not going to be transparent um, where the image is because I'm using a cardstock image in this last one that, that we're doing. There we go. And now let's just put this over the top here. This, this uh, tea bag is a little torn and that's okay. I kind of like that. But once you paint over the top of the tea bag, um, the tea bag becomes more transparent. And that's how you're able to see the image so well is because that tea bag just becomes very transparent but yet it's got all that vintagey goodness in it so I love that and as you push these edges in on some of them that are like I 
think some of the teas that I used was like breakfast tea or bedtime tea or whatever. I don't drink those. I, I'm not a fan of flavored teas at all. I just, if I'm going to drink tea, I'm going to drink it because I'm sick and I don't feel well. Um, or I'll drink iced tea. Um, but to just drink tea just because, no, I don't do that. I'm not a fan of tea at all. So, but the thing is, my husband, who used to be a huge coffee drinker, has somehow his taste buds changed, and now he can't stand the taste of coffee. And this is a man that used to drink 10 cups of coffee a day literally and that's no joke um suddenly now cannot stand the taste of coffee um so um he drinks tea now so i have to make him tea every morning i make my coffee i do drink coffee i love coffee uh, but i still only drink one cup a day i keep my coffee down because if i did drink more than that I'm afraid I'd never sleep at night I have trouble enough I don't need to add extra coffee to my um, to my diet to make me not sleep so I buy tea for Jeff he drinks that I drink my coffee and we're both happy happy little people so, okay, this is the last one I'm going to do, and this is a pretty little image that I have on cardstock. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use some of this lettering over the top of it. So, the only thing is, I don't think I have enough glue here. I, I'm certain I don't. So, Add a little bit of glue there. Hopefully, I didn't. It's not too gluey. Because it's it's a little thicker than what it probably should be, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. I just hope it's not too sticky and doesn't come off. But the fact that this is on cardstock will probably help. And this one I'm just going to press down and then I'm going to take a little bit more of this glue here and I'm just going to paint some right across here because this is where I want to put this piece of napkin just right across there and hopefully this is going to at least show up a little bit through the tea bag. I think it will once it dries and everything I think those because I can see them a little bit now and then I will put my tea bag down like that and voila I like painting over these tea bags because they really do not tear. I mean, I suppose they could if you were like way too rough, but I'm you can see I'm not I'm not using a ton of care as I paint across this because I'm trying to make sure that that glue is going through. And it really does not tear. So now let's get these corners, these edges crinkled. And I think, I really think this step that I'm doing right here is important, you guys. Um, because she couldn't say enough about how much easier it was to get these off of the plastic paper 
because she does this. adding a couple of my little wrinkles. There we go. And I think I'll paint just a little more glue through the middle of this because it doesn't feel like I got a lot through the center. Okay. And there we have it. So now we're going to let these dry and then we're going to peel them up and see how they look. Again, this is my first time doing this, you guys, so if it's an epic fail, you guys are going to see it on camera. So let me get these dry. Okay, so now we're going to um, see the moment of truth, and we're going to start peeling these off. They're dry. This one may not be as dry as the rest of them, but I'm going to give it a shot. It feels not quite as crispy as these are but that's okay we'll try and get it off if we can't um, then we won't worry about that one right now but um, this one actually started to lift already so I tried to lift a corner and I thought okay that's gonna come off so this is what you do you just peel it right off of there and you can see I've got a little few little pieces of glue over the edge you just kinda peel those off like that And there's that one. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can see it's translucent. Isn't that so cool? And I've got like, say you have a box or something that you want to decorate. I've got a box right here. Um, you know, you're going to be able to kind of see through that. And it makes a nice little decoration. You can see the edges are all curled up and look a little bit shabbier and more vintage and look at how strong that is they're super strong they're not going to break that glue has made the the strength of these even better than just the tea bags um, so there's that one so let's go ahead and put that box aside and we'll peel off the rest of these I love this one with the bird. I love this napkin. And this one, you can see I've got some of the wrinkles in it. And I love the wrinkles. See there? You've got a bunch of wrinkles there. I just love the wrinkles in this. And again, it's translucent. You can see my fingers underneath there. So there's that one. And look at how easy they pull off. And this one, you've got a few little bits of glue on the edges. You just pull those right off of there and they come right off. And this is the one with the, the writing in the background. It's very faint. So I think if I was going to do this, I think, I don't know, I think I might like to, to um, have a darker print. So that would be my wish on this one, that I could take maybe some tissue paper, some white tissue paper, like for the wrapping gifts, and stamp it with some words, and I think it would come out really awesome. This one looks good. In the camera, you can't see it as well as I can see it. Maybe you can see it better as I put it on this piece of paper. In fact, here's what I'll do. I'll put it right here, and there you can see you can see the lettering. It's just not super dark. So there's that one. I really was had high hopes for that one. I thought it was going to come out a little bit more visible than it did. But now I know 
I don't have a stamp like with um, cursive writing on it. So I'll have to wait a little bit to do that, but I might see if I can find some um, tissue paper that has that on it. And here's my favorite napkin. And look at how vintagey that looks. Looks really pretty. And then this is the one with the tower on it. And you can see here's the glue that's kind of coming off of it right there. So I'm just going to take and pull that right off. It just pops right off of the edges. All gone. There's that one. And look at how vintagey they are, you guys. And even with my, my wrinkles and stuff, I love the wrinkles in there. And this is the one that will not be transparent because it's got a cardstock um, piece on the back. And I can see this one is not quite as dry as the other ones because of the cardstock, I'm guessing. You can see it's sticking a little bit to my my bag here. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit wet underneath. But there is that one. And look at how beautiful and vintagey that looks. I love it with the tea bag over the top of it. Isn't she gorgeous? And then look, if I put this on a box like this. Look at how pretty that looks. Very, very vintagey looking. So I love this process, you guys. You have to try it. Oh my goodness, so much fun. And um, give it a try so you can use these in some of your projects. Now, these would be really pretty on some tags. I have some, hang on, I'm gonna go grab, I hope I still have some of my, my cardstock stuff. And you can make these smaller. You could cut the tea bags down if you wanted to to make smaller images. But like I have these cards that I make, and I just these are leftover cardstock from when I've printed images and I've had pieces left over. And look at how pretty that would look on there. And then you could take and ink the edges of this. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll take a look at one of these other ones. The bird would look really pretty on there. Look at that. See that one? How pretty is that? And then if you had some more vintagey looking cardstock, you could use that too. Look at so pretty and then I can make these bigger obviously I can make it longer so that you get you know these nice punched edges um, with that in the center and look at how beautiful that is so you can make tags you can make uh, journals you could put these on boxes you could use them to make uh, to create eight uh, envelopes and all kinds of things you guys I mean if you like that vintagey look, I have this one here that I was um, thinking about doing too. Um, one of my roosters, and I thought that would look really pretty uh, done up behind a tea bag. But right now, I've got my other tea bags drying. You don't have to waste the tea bags. If you want, you can just, um, as you use your tea bags in the morning, set them aside, let them dry. It takes a few days for them to dry up um, that way and um, let them dry and then use them um, use them once you know you've got a few of them made and you want to do some projects you've got a bunch of tea bags made that that you can use and um, embellish with so yeah I'm just gonna put those in my little bag here and decide what I'm gonna do with them 
and um, this one I'm going to leave out to dry a little bit longer because she needs to get drier. Um, and yeah, so that's it for those, you guys. Um, I am not going to create a journal like my friend did because I'm not as good at that as she is. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, maybe I'll do a video shortly um, and and try doing something with one of these. I've got these cool uh, bookmarks. These are wooden bookmarks. And I, th I think I was actually thinking these would be really cool on one of these. And I could add that to the center. Like that. And make a very, very cool vintage looking bookmark. And then here's the bird. That looks really pretty on there. Look at how pretty that is. And then I can decorate and use some um, some lace bits and things. Uh, let's see. What do I have behind me here? You could take a piece of lace and go along there. You know, go along the side with it. Add that and then add... This flower sort of came apart, but I'll put it back together here. Add a little flower down there and just make it, you know, make it your own and add some other little, whoops, some other little embellishments to it. And you've got, now this is not real vintagey looking lace. Maybe, here's a, like a peachy colored lace that you could put over that and then add your flowers too like that I need to fix those flowers and there you would have you know a pretty vintagey bookmark so um, I'm gonna come up with some things to use these on I'm gonna also be making some more of them um, because I want to have a lot of, you know, variations and, and so that I can just kind of decide as I go along what I want to make. This one looks cool on here too with that writing on it. And you can see they're shiny on the back side. But these are strong, 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 strong. And then I could take that and put it on there. I think that looks really, really pretty. Take some flowers and put them kind of off to the top like that. Look at how beautiful that looks, just like that. But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to show this project to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing lots of great videos. Um, and uh, hit the like button. You guys, I need those likes. I know it's it takes a second, but again, it only takes a second to go back and hit that like button, or the thumbs up, I should say, and uh, maybe give me a little comment. Let me know what you think of the video, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. I would greatly appreciate it, you guys. Take care, be blessed, um, stay safe, and stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for, for pictures on the back end. Bye-bye. God bless.